Hello everybody, it's Itamog217, and today we're doing another brand new series which for reviews, and that is the Lego Magazine Reviews. Now, I'm trying to do I'm trying to do reviews for this for like every Sunday, I'm thinking, and this will be in chronolo chronological order from uh, the way I have them, like, you know. Anyways, this one was the July to August 2002 issue. Now, for those of you who know me personally, you'll be like, how did you receive this issue? You weren't even in the world yet. Well, you can thank my mom because she went out to a thrift store and found this one in pretty decent condition for 50 cents. Along with a bunch of others. But yeah, as you can see, it shows a, you know, a little skater because that was a thing that Lego tried to do. You have the Bionicle Bash. Lego Island Extreme Stunts, which is probably what the cover's about. Spybotics, whatever. And apparently it's part catalog? I don't know. And apparently this retailed for $3.95 Canadian. So, <laughs> interesting. This will just be a flip through, of course. Oh, instantly I'm wanting to ask, who the heck is that? Is that like an early version of Max? Like, if, if you know who the heck that character's name is... Please, let me know in the comment section down below. I'd love to know that. Uh, basically, a little bit of puzzles and such. Oh, pull-up poster, basically, on this thing. For Lego Island Extreme Stunts. Wow. Basically, advertising all the sets. You can see the set numbers and such. The club codes, I don't think, are valid anymore, because Lego Club is now Lego Life, and they've completely changed their stuff. Oh, this is interesting. A uh, alternate build for if you have the original Lego Star Wars Slave 1. This set number is 7153. You can see it at the top right there. Apparently you can rebuild it into this. So I'll put this in the frame for those of you who want to pause the video if you own this set. Okay, and then here's the other half. There you go, you can pause the video there if you want to build that yourselves. Got a bunch of comics and advertising for Lego Galador, which I've heard rumors about what that is. I haven't really invested in it because it just doesn't look Lego to me. And more info on Galador. You can pause the video if you want to fully read that. Comic continues. And comic continues even more. And I think this is about the Lego train set. I'm not sure which one, but... Oh, it's about how uh, trains are made and such, I'm assuming. Advert a pull-out poster for Lego Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Interesting. Man, they use flesh tone heads nowadays. Man. Uh, X Games champion Andy McDonald rides for Bionicle? Okay. Interesting, I guess. Something that... I don't know. Just tells you how to skateboard, I guess. And skateboarding tricks. Got like a little board game for Lego Jack Stone. That was a theme that also Lego tried to do. So, interesting, interesting. You got the thing that Lego magazines do to this day, which is people who post to their website, they would just pick a handful and they just put it in the next magazine for people's mocks and such. So... That continues on there. Oh, we got another uh, alternate build that you can do with two sets. Apparently, for, this is from the LEGO Alpha team. So if you have these sets, feel free to pause the video so you can build this. If you have the sets 4793, the OGEL Shark Assault Sub, and the 4797 set, OGEL Mutant Killer Whale. So, for those of you who don't listen to me, there you go. And of course you have a Alpha Team comic. And then a building challenge. Of course this contest is long over. More Galador advertisements. And a little info on the characters I guess. So if you want you can pause the video right there and read that. Here's the alternate page. The realms. And then these are infos on the enemies. Again, you can just pause the video right here if you want to have a read. I'll probably leave timestamps where you can pause the videos at. 
Okay, a little comic there, a little advertisement here. I feel like I missed a page, there we go. Oh wow, another advertisement for interactive toy. And what it does, adds galore. And this is interesting. Kind of shows off what the display stands for Galador is like. And then just some more advertising for the show. And then more of the Lego Harry Potter build challenge, I guess. It was from an earlier magazine. Spybotics.com. Anybody want to check that out and let me know what that is in the comment section down below? I uh, this is basically advertising to get other people to join the Lego magazine, Lego club thing, because it's free. And then you have advertisements for Lego. Oh no, these aren't, this is an advertisement. This is actually uh, jokes. So if you want to tell someone a Lego joke, pause the video, write it down. Those are two. Those are two. <laughs> And you got some advertisement for Lego Star Wars. Lego Johnny Thunder. My goodness. Sucker Mania. Lego Racers. The game. And Lego.com stuff. My goodness. And then, oh, this actually shows off some sets, uh, what they were worth. So I'm, I'm going to assume that this is in Canadian. Red Baron's Plane, $50. $30 for the Sheriff's Lockup. Blacksmith Shop was $40, Enchanted Island was $70, and the Guarded Inn $25, the Lego Island Extreme Stunts Kits were, I don't know, $12, and the Special Kit price is $9, I don't know. You have a Lego City set um, that went for $10, and the Lego Studio set that went for $20 and a Pharaoh's Curse of the Pharaoh for $4. My goodness. That's the size of that's the price of a poly bag. And then on the back here just shows some Bionicle advertisements. Now I did put a sticky note over here because this wasn't owned by me, but still just check the person, even though they might not live there, but whatever. But my goodness, that was quite an interesting blast from the past that I was not even existent in. But yeah. What do you guys think? Like, leave your con leave your thoughts in the comments below. Like, I would love to hear what you guys have to say about this. Let me know if you guys want to see more of this stuff, because I am glad to do that. I got, like, I don't know, 20 magazines over the years or something like that. Maybe more. But yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed. Consider subscribing if you want to see more content like this, as well as LEGO reviews. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, bye.